I like having fun. Yeah. I like to laugh. Yeah. I like to meet people who can make like me laugh. I don't like this new intro. I like having fun. Yes, I like to laugh. I don't like me in it. Like I like I it. Yeah. I, I like. I don't the, like seeing. I like so. the work. I just don't like seeing me acting like. Hey, everybody. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Like I should just be. I shouldn't be so jokey. This is serious. These are serious times. Pass your notes along. Welcome to Office Hours Live! Live from Glendale, California. It's May 19th, 2022, 10 a.m. here in California. The weather is overcast, but quite lovely. Great tennis weather. We've been up for hours. This is midday for us. If you joined us on the Instagram Live, like, Me know, and DJ wow, Doug Pound cool. took to the green, hey. took to the court, and had a and wonderful three-game <laughs> match with a couple of the guys from a band called Pavement. Okay. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And they are here with us now. How cool is that? We have represent and Vic Burger is here oh, as well. Vic hello, the ball everybody. boy. Hey, Vic. Doing the balls. Those they're pretty good, I thought. Yeah, you kept yeah. the game moving. Oh, Appreciate it. Uh, wow. Producer we brought our Matt. own ball boy. Excuse me? We brought our own ball boy, Steve West. Steve's here. Yeah. Steve, so a couple of Steves here. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Steve Malcolmus, the great one. That's, I'm here. The man. Our ball man, yeah, Steve ball man. West. Steve West. Steve West, who's the drummer for Both. Pavement. Both yeah. drummers are here. One of two. And Bob, Nosta how do we say the last name again? Nostovich? It does not Nostovich? Matter. Nastanovich. That's Nistanovich. really clear. You're Heidecker, right? I'm Nastanovich. Heidecker. Heidecker. Um, I mean, H -E -I -D -E -C -K -R. we have the majority of pavement here. Yes. So if you wanted to make any kind of controlling decisions about the direction of the band, we could do that right These now. These are the three that wouldn't be doing it, yes. <laughs> Who's missing? We have Spiral Stairs missing. Yep. True. Mark Eibold. Mark, Mark Eibold. Yeah. A fellow, Bass Pencil player. fellow Pennsylvanian. Where's he from, Lancaster, Lancaster, you said? Yep. Good dude. All right, listen, I just want to get this out of the way. As a lot of you, first of all, Steve, you've been on the show before. You yes, zoomed in. That's true. And we had a nice chat. But it was Zoom and it wasn't, it was, it was, we were, it was early days of the pandemic. We were figuring out how to communicate over the internet. It was tense. It was, it was also times of protests and troubles in Portland. Oh my God, it yeah. was. You it know, was, it was it, yeah. tear gas. Heavy stuff. Yeah. And things are rosy now. Things are looking great. Yes, yeah. <laughs> you're concerned about the future of Roe It was Wade. like a Rage Against the Machine video that. back then, and now... I do kind of want to talk politics with you guys. Absolutely. There's lots going on. A lot. <laughs> a lot more going on than the um, Johnny Depp uh, trial, which seems to do what they told consumed you. I mean, my Everything. lord. Who cares? Well, I'm team... What do you think I am? Team Broker Team Ship Johnny. Records. My daughter is too. A TikTok is with him, apparently. Yeah. What? Like Teen TikTok. Now, see, we're Surprise getting sucked me. into the my vortex. Wife is team yeah. my, my wife is Team Johnny Depp. I, uh, I was having dinner with somebody, I won't name who, not nobody well known. I just don't want to out them. But he was like, Hey guys, it's Jeremy Renner. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> You know and, what's not bad? A fried egg sandwich. And uh, he was like, "Listen, I don't, between you and me, my friend, my I think my friend or my brother or somebody, uh, dated her like years ago." And she's and he's like, "She's fucking crazy, like she's cr crazy." So, pillow pillow defecator. Yeah, but he, he's, he is he's too. Re he's reading. Tic he's on TikTok also. It yeah. seems. Well, anyways, I don't want to get into that. We're not, that's off topic. Yeah, I mean, yeah off, dead subject. Yeah. Dead subject. Unless you want to chime in. Nope. <clears throat> <laughs> um, <laughs> of course, we have our Zoomers, Matt, right? We have Zoomers, we have uh, hotline callers, we have so many different ways of communicating. I want to say quickly, we might not get to her. My cousin Kalu wrote right. a beautiful book called <laughs> Easy Fancy Food. And it's a cookbook. Nice. She's right here, too. She's in we'll the control room. Clue, are you there? She's cooking. Hello, food fans, fans. <laughs> Just read my book. Clue, are you in there? Sure I am. I'm here, I am. Oh, Hi, Clue. Hey, hey, Tam. Uh, you know one of my favorite groups growing up. I mean, I've known you since forever. I mean, I've known you since I was born, or since you were born, because you're a little younger than me. But uh, you know how what a thrill it is for me to have pavement in the studio. 
I, I do. I do indeed. And it's <clears> just <throat> unfortunate that it timed with your visit because uh, we probably won't be able to get you in here. But we'll do our best. How about that? Uh, fingers <laughs> crossed, man. Yeah. Fingers crossed. But we are promoting the book, so the, it's all you're here to do, really, is to promote the book. So. Bam! Thanks I'll for talk us. fast, Kalu. Why don't we put the book between you two guys? I'll hold yeah, it up. Put I'll it on here. Can we wow. put it here? Wow. Yeah. wow. Thank yeah, here you. you right here on the bottle. Let's put it backwards because our yeah. photo is so That's nice. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is a nice photo, Kalu. Thank you so much. And if you guys want to look at it or bring up a recipe that intrigues you or is inspiring to you, please don't feel free. Creamies. Um, she sold one copy because we're buying Steve West's wife a copy. She's a cooking enthusiast. Yeah. You cook at home? Who's the cook in your house? He just made beautiful we lasagna. Made lasagna the other night. It was delicious. Lasagna king. Very impressive. Oh, you nice. made lasagna. Yeah. All like, recipes. All recipes. Usually, not just lasagna. I'd say like old school Italian restaurant lasagna. Yeah. Ooh. Baked. I was Ooh. pleasantly Meat. surprised. Meat My lasagna. expectations yes. were low, I will say that. But Is it kind of browning on top? Mm -hmm. A little I crispy? Call him, uh, I call him Malk Massini now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's the... Um, What's the tour bus situation? <laughs> no tour bus. <laughs> yeah. No tour bus. Zero. Private jets. No. Uh, no, no, of now. course not. How do you get around? Splitter van. Um, yeah. And flights? Uber and yeah. no flights, boats. Wait a minute. <laughs> no, well, it's a riverboat tour. I, I think when we start touring in September seventh. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, the, I think the we'll big probably tour. we'll probably be on a bus. Uh, yes. Carbon footprint. No. But yeah. Interesting. I'm into like I'm into having like eight compact rental cars, I'm cool with that. But the problem, people wonder like, oh, the, the, the reason for the bus is you've got to travel at night, you've got to sleep, you got to, you know, you can't drive during the day to get to the show because you don't, there's not enough time. Drives. COVID yeah. trap. We resisted it. Yeah, 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 terrible. Yeah, but I'm, I'm asking, how do you get from one show to the next? Bus. But yeah. I mean, that, but we we're, resisted we're a, we're that we're in pavement. A, a, we pushed that back as long as possible. You fly. The no. rest on the bus. I'm bussing it on yeah. my tour. You got to stay in the in the it mental real. framework yeah. of the tour. Yeah. With everyone. Yeah, we'll, we'll be yeah. on the bus too I, and fly. It's too stressful actually to fly to like get to the airport and catch the flights. Way too stressful. Mm. I kind of agree I like with you it. there. You like it. I'd yeah. stay on so the bus. So you're going to be could. on the flights and they're going to be on. I have done the bus. it before, just uh, like searching last minute for cheap flights. Like, oh, New Mexico to Austin. Um, I got a hundred dollar flight. Who's who's with me? Let's go. Right. You know, it's more right. like that. You just right. kind of do it on the. Flight. You have a spot on the bus if you want it. Of course. Yeah, or a hotel and stuff. So it's. And it's pretty fun. Hold on. I just got a text <laughs> from Matt Sweeney. Oh, he's a great guy. Matt Sweeney. Shows well, up everywhere. I should read this before. Show. Okay, Love well, him. I'm going to ask his question. Mm -hmm. This is how you can communicate with me in various ways. If you're, friend, if, you're if you're a friend of mine. Matt's in his band, solo band. Matt Sweeney is? In his solo band, Malkmus. Not in The his. Jicks? No, no. Post Jicks or oh, like Tim, another. So Stephen Malkmus now. <laughs> It's got I a great album. Traditional everything. Techniques is huh? it's okay. awesome. Ask about like pavement's it. use of Steinberger guitars. Yes. Talk oh, about the question. Yeah. Mm. You know, this is a command, not a question. You want to go, Mel? Are you familiar with the brand? No. Uh, they're the George original... Steinberger from the Yankees? <laughs> Steinberger. <laughs> invented um, by a friend of ours. Or, or a, a, not invented. Yeah. He poured the molds. Uh, they're the famous... You In the 90s when there was no uh, tuning pegs on the end. Right. And there would be some yeah. new wave guy. Like, or the, like yeah. the Peter Gabriel's bass player or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Um, it's a br and so, yeah, we had a couple of those in the early days of pavement that were lying around. Like Bob said, our drummer's dad de designed plastic molds. He also did the antennas on the World Trade Center. Yeah. Gary Young's dad. Where are they these days? <laughs> Not they're, anywhere, um, just a bunch yeah, of graphite toxicity in the air. Ugh. They're 100 but, um, Oh, they're indestructible. They're fam Steinbergers are famous for being indestructible. So you can't, you can't, like, Not believe me, you and I... Pete Townsend couldn't do much with that no, guitar. No, you and I, like, we Here, could pull not Pull it up destroy. for Tim, Wes, yeah. we can show him. They're yeah. really ugly, that's he, it. Yeah. He oh, would, okay. He would yeah. throw them just off, off right. stage. Yeah. And it, there was a tiny little chip of, of a bass that he lost somehow, but you don't know. However he did it, it Wait, was bad. Do you use them on the uh, on any of the records? Yeah, I'd use it on Slant and Enchanted. Okay. Um, uh, it's very, like, uh, not to get all techy with you. This is what it's for. This is what we have you here for. Tech, yeah, it's tech a very even-sounding even bass. It's really nice-sounding, actually. Um, I mean, it's... 
Listen, and the I guitar, think, the I whammy mean, bar on it is I wanna, fantastic. Stays in tune, like you can't get it out of tune. Right. I'm gonna make some people mad here, some techie or some gearhead guys, but like any old bass will do. Sure. Right? It's true. <laughs> like I've got a fancy Fender P Precision, bass from, yeah. from the 70s. That's the classic. Yeah, but I could go down to Guitar Center and get a 2021 <laughs> yeah. whatever. I could see you rocking an Ibanez. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. They'll yeah. put it through whatever like compressors they have, it will be yeah. fine. But if D. you feel if you feel better with something that yeah. makes you feel like you're well, it's like all, half a bass of, player. Half of it is style and presentation and putting on a show. Yeah. So you want to look cool. Exactly. What are you playing? What are you playing now on I can stage? Play bass. What's your... I'm playing the original period correct instruments of pavement, um, the ones they actually used. Like it's a, a jag? A strat. A jag is in the only on one record. Um and I'm playing a, another, like an SG. Period. Uh, the band has a Jungian split between Fender, Gibson, like so many bands. Uh -huh. And uh, everything works that way. The songs have a different character. Yeah. It's sort of a Led Zeppelin, Hendrix move, to, like Led Zeppelin being a Gibson state of mind. Yeah, yeah. You and, know, um, th that reminds me of uh, the story I heard. Before we realized that Eric Clapton was such a creep, such a yeah. terrible guy. Bad. bad, bad guy. I always hated him. But here's a here's a good uh, sign, a little canary in the coal mine I heard. He did that Cream reunion back when Ginger Baker was alive, and they did like a cup. They did like the Royal Albert Hall and Madison Square Garden, like some big key shows. But Gross. Clapton insisted on playing his Strat for all which those he, shows. He which was originally an SG. It was originally right? an SG, and yeah. that's the sound of Cream. Yeah, that kind of thicker sound. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. What do you play? What's your main guitar? I have a Strat. Okay, yeah. He's, the guitar yeah. he's always and, played... And a Tele. Is like a... It's a, it's a Stratocaster ripoff that was like... No, it's real, but it's uh, it was just... It was a Mexican Nothing one. special. Usually. No, it's okay, but it had been like Frankensteined out with uh, humbuckers and right. like found on the street, stolen by a junkie. It was really cheap, right? It was, because it was yeah. stolen. Now here's oh, what stolen. Okay, that's yeah. the, okay. I forgot that. Here's detail. something I want to do with with everybody in the room, and I think it's something we can do throughout the show. I don't think we have to just do it right now. I think we got to rank the pavement records. Sure, that's fair. Matt, I didn't even run this by you. What do you think? Of course, of course. I want the audience to chime in. Maybe keep a tally. Yeah. Vic's not a fan, so we're no, not. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> so, yeah. He doesn't need to chime. I don't in. like Vic either. <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta. You, want, you gotta go? go first. <laughs> Oh, I, gotta go. I like his look. I like Vic's look. I, well, I have don't thoughts. Like him. I have thoughts. Yeah, why don't um, you just uh, let's go uh, from the bottom to the top so we feel good when we leave. Yeah, that's a good yeah. idea. Oh, well, that's for good sure. Idea. I mean, well, so we're all just going to have, we all have to just maybe pick one. And then yeah. you can defend it quickly. Why don't we all say it or out loud? Are going to the five or are we throwing in water to I'm going to get too. creamed here. I, I'm nervous now. Just He's fine. got cream on his mind. He can't stop talking about cream. And if you don't want to participate, if you don't feel educated enough about it, if you're not like a deep lover, that's fine. then all just I can pass. Do is, all I can do is give my number one and two. You can that's say cool. pass. Because it. But what I love about this is, like one of the great things about you guys you don't have like tons of records. You've got That's what? That's true. There's five. five. Five major records. Five major Slide records. I'm yeah. seeing seven online here. Well, there's we yeah. a special EP, and EP. we've got a compilation of our early material. You don't have to count that. Called it's Westing uh, by Musket and Sex. Greatest Hits. That's right. the best one, right? Oh, we have Greatest <laughs> Hits also. That doesn't count. All I mean, right, isn't well, that the case in every band? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Matador Let's picked those. It. I think Matador picked those, so, as far as I know. But Let's get it over with the bad ones first, and then we can talk more about the last two that we all like. Well, No, it's like the Beatles. No such thing as a bad... I, well, that's, that's first true. of all, I'm saying that. I can spin that. Depends on what you're Did you on. see the, the... I think it was Pitchfork wrote a whole thing about your last album, Terror Twilight. Mm -hmm. Did you, you didn't see it? I don't read that shit. No. Well, good. I did. I read yeah. it. And they said... they. She goes, this writer, I thought it was funny, she's like, I, I think uh, that you can make the case that Pavement were the Beatles of the 90s. And she goes on to make the case, not a it's ridiculous case. It's a ridiculous case. It's, it's ridiculous. True. I we're did more that like interview and the I said, Beatles and the Stones. Yeah. Well, Next. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I did that interview and I was like, I don't, I just don't think we did, should be mentioned the same way. I, I think this, I like this joke, I, or Doug and I kind of crafted this together, but when uh, Charlie Watts died, there's yeah, a, there's the, the, the thought Big about fan. this thought about um, Ringo and Paul joining the Stones, because then you have the drummer and the bass wow. player. Yeah. Now yeah. there's 
Now they'd be selling tickets to they Paul would be doing two nights. I'm at actually the quite good on base. Dodger Stadium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, All right, I will. Oh, I'm not supposed yeah, to laugh. What sorry. am I supposed to do? Should Say, I start? Yeah, sorry. So I will agree. Terror Twilight's the worst one. No, no, no. I'm not. No. Well, okay. I'm what do you got? Going, what do you say? This Wait, is the just the worst. For, oh my god. My least. I'll yeah. tell you my least favorite. We're st we're getting Crooked into rain. it. Yeah, he knows because I just talked to him. What? Cricket Rain is my least favorite one. Yeah. Wow. Okay, Crooked well, rain, I'm rain. just going to be the outlier here. Yeah. And only because of my own personal experience, Slanted and Enchanted was not an was yeah. never an album for me. You told me that before. Yeah, yeah. because I just I came in. It. I came in on Crooked Rain. Yeah. And I didn't. You know, back then I don't have Spotify. I don't have Apple yeah. Music. I just have CDs. Yeah. And I didn't go back and get that one. So just, it's not that I don't. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I just, you, don't have just, to, you don't have to justify it. Yeah. I think we all have You're to justify our heart. picks. I think we all have to justify our picks. Okay, well, so, I would like to interrupt you real quick, Tim, and tell you that Steve will probably be here again, hopefully, and this is probably my only visit here. And he'd appreciate it. <laughs> he'd appreciate it if you didn't diss Slant and Enchant it every single time he comes in. Okay. <laughs> well, that's it. I got it that's out of my I system. That's why I these guys. Yeah. Okay. I, I got the it enforcers. Out. Okay, so obviously well, Steve will agree style. he wasn't on that record. Yeah. Uh, obviously well, neither it. of these guys were actually. Yeah. Um, right. I was in the live band, but not on the record because yeah. I was driving a bus in New York. All it's, right. Well, so your pick is Crooked Rain. We got my that. My favorite. My no, least no, no, favorite is Crooked Rain. Yeah. I, I just don't like the way Twilight. it sounds. I've never liked the way. It, I liked a lot of the songs. Okay. A lot of the songs are good live. Uh, Steve. It changes all the time, but recently, now that we've been rehearsing, Bright in the Corners is sounding a lot better to me. What? Well, we, we, we're just going for worst, last, fast, least, worst. Least. Oh, least. Yeah. Slanted for you. <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess slanted. Yeah. 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 Well, you won. I mean, so I far. like slanted too. So and yours fun. is. I'm going Terror, Terror Twilight okay. because, um, yeah, just my experience making it was stressful or something. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like a personal thing between me and the record. Things we went through together. And like, um, Matt. I'm with you. Um, That's a cool hat. Slanted is my least favorite. We got yeah. another slanted. Yeah, yeah sorry. man. Vic? Sorry, wow. I don't like to rank things. I don't like to feel, Very good. feel worse. So I'm good. Yeah. You can pass. I, I can. Yeah. He, the, he can't uh, even I, name payment. Again, records. all I can say is two. my top two. I can't. Fair okay, fair enough. Yeah, fire top two. No, Let's so get that it looks like yeah. we're now, we have now have, I think, majority we wins. I'm biting is, my tongue. Yeah. Yeah. I'm biting my tongue. And people are going to go, this is great clickbait because people are going to go wild. Yes. They might be getting bored. Let's take a zoomer. Oh, they're definitely getting bored. Okay. Don't forget to see the day. But this is our time. You got to spice it up. You got to spice it up, man. Maybe we should skip this. Let's start talking about so let's, go with, uh, let's go with Doug's uh, top two. No, no, no. Marie, we'll go to Marie the next Amsterdam. Segment. How about that? Oh, we got an Amsterdam. I'm going to write down the album oh, title so you can just say what you like three through Marie, five. Marie, how <laughs> excited are you to be on a Zoom with some of the guys from Pavement? Oh. And you're muted. Yeah, yeah, I can read her lips because I'm deaf. You got to unmute, this. Marie. Can you unmute on your side? These are pavement fans I'm calling unmuted. you. I'm unmuted. I'm unmuted. Yeah, Marie. Yay, Marie. Okay, Pardon sorry. me. I'm just going to do something real quick. I'm just going to turn this off. Okay. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Steven knows Dutch. That's great. Okay. So I want to preface this. <laughs> that's, that's German. Yeah, I should <laughs> okay. okay. speak a kind of Deutsch. <laughs> Related. All right, so I want to preface this by, by uh, the um, Stevens' appearance on Office Hours two years ago actually got me into Pavement. What? So now Whoa. it's my See, I'm, where's my thanks? <laughs> yeah, thank you, Tim. Yeah. So was it the Bernie shirt? <clears throat> thank you, Tim. Oh, yeah. So wait, you didn't? You weren't a fan of Pavement, then you see him come on my show, you go, I like this guy. I like it's validation. Yeah, it was, wow. It's validation. He was promoting... He Yay. was promoting traditional techniques, so yeah. I checked out traditional techniques. I have so many great And I ideas. thought it was a great album. Oh, thank so then album. I, He loves us. So stuff. then I checked out uh, Pavement, and uh, I, I knew some Pavement songs, but not not a yeah. lot. So What's the worst what's Pavement what album? Yeah, what's your least favorite Pavement album? My least favorite is actually is Bright in the Corners. Wow. But I love, but I love yeah. some songs. Yeah. I love Stereo, yeah. oh, I love sure. Shady yeah. Lane, but... I mean, but other... I think, like I said, I want to say this a million yeah. times. This is all coming from a place of love and Aww. loving them all. Yes. But we're just having it's, fun. You get you to do it. Unlike your children, song, you can't Marie. grade them. But right. In this kind but of thing, even are. though you do. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, oh, well, uh, that's, oh, oh, uh, it's wonderful to hear. Was there something else we could help you with? Well, help. I was, uh, I had a question for for Steve. So I, Which I Steve? guess it's, it's uh, <laughs> The one with the hat. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So um, it's great yes. that that pavement is getting back together and stuff. But I'm actually really hoping for a solo acoustic album by Steve. Is that ever? Uh, yeah. Going it's to happening. Happen? Yeah. It's in yes. the it's in the uh, in the pipeline. We did some sessions. It's not as acoustic as traditional techniques, but it's like okay. takes off from that um, aesthetic and imagines like. Unplugged what the band would do once they um, they made their acoustic record and they went on tour and they realized like we got to be a little louder you know these <sighs> venues are uh, these electric guitars all the current bands are using them and we got to use them too yeah. so you know it's sort of mm -hmm. like that cool. um, do you work in yeah. any uh, band, so. maybe in a year uh, coming Unplugged out after pavement I, I maybe I shouldn't be telling this it's gonna ruin the Wait. magic but <laughs> Right, what about a so pavement budget. record? That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. No. Um, Unplugged rock. Unless we roll. write one without him, but it won't be very good. Oh, yeah, you guys should do it like the Talking Heads guys did. <laughs> we thought uh, about making a seven. No talking, no talking heads. heads. Thanks for having yeah. me. <laughs> well, thanks for calling idea. in. How's everything going in Amsterdam? Chuck, 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 chuck. It's great. We just had, we, yeah, a lot of a lot of weed smoking. Oh, it's the best, huh? I don't, <laughs> yeah, I don't, we come I see. Actually, um, you should come see us. We're playing there. I think in whatever October. In November, actually. Okay, Would you great. put her on the yeah. list? I, can, I have yeah, tickets already. Oh, yeah, I have sell your tickets. tickets, give the money to charity, I'll put you on the list. Smoke wow. weed. But I, I have front row tickets. I have like the best seats. Oh, wow. Ever, so. Wait, wow. this is cool. Let me wow. just say something. She don't know pavement till she checks out my show, yeah, checks you out. Now you've got a front row audience member. Man, thank you. That's the circle of life. Yeah. Yeah. So it was very expensive. And you're wearing my swag. Yeah, oh, do you want yeah. me to mention it now, Bob? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't like my Nike, I like the, this kind of hat. I was saying I like this kind of hat, but I don't like the big old Nike swoosh. Yeah. So Bob gave me the sticker for what is this, Broker your label? Brokerstip Records, yeah. Brokerstiprecords.com. I don't think it's Marie's style, out? she's more into Steven, but we don't have any. Uh, we've got some pretty cool bands on it. I know. What kind, what's your top selling band? What's the Thanks, what's Marie. Marquee oh, band. Oh, uh, we have a really good band from Richmond, Virginia called Piranha Rama. Okay. Um, everything's good on there. Band Is it on uh, Quattro, streaming Santa, and stuff? Lucy Arnell band from LA. It's all little bands. Like it's kind of dependent on bands going on tour. So they have a seven inch to sell right. on tour. So obviously, sales have been slow. Yeah. All right. But well, they'll what? be back at it soon. You know. Is there it's a cool. website? Yeah, brokerstiprecords.com. All right, check Thank out brokerstiprecords.com. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. I I, somebody sent me a nasty note the other day because I, years ago, did sort of a parody of a Guided by Voices song Fair off enough. the cuff. Easy target. Mm -hmm. <laughs> On <laughs> office hours? Yeah. Standing. Like I yeah. sang it like off the cuff, kind of just improvised it, and then somebody took that audio and put music to it, and it <laughs> sounds fucking... Do you Pretty have good. it, guys? I, I don't know. Bulldog know. skin. It's always hard to find. It. I want to hear no, it. Just, it. Obscure no, I just lyrics, made it up. Like random oh. obscure, yeah. like, like they're... Oh, tie the <laughs> scorpion <laughs> riding oh, on the I run. It. In terms you know, of I got it here. Oh, it's pretty pretty cool. oh, you have it? Yeah. So here's my deal with those guys. Oh, well. I'll put that... But it, do you have the real... The, 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 uh... the night goes black, there is not... Way. No, I'm getting off it. But oh, there's somebody the, made the, the actual yes, track yes. to it, which... Well, find that. But somebody goes, now whenever those guys put a record out, they... They send, they include this parody that I did, on uh, like they reference this parody and they kind of like I've spoiled it for everybody. Yeah. Wait, could be another this career maker. Good sound, is That's not your voice. It is. It? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he just did it for us. Oh wait, no. That's sorry. not your voice. That's not your no. voice. That what do you mean? Like a real song. That's him. That's it, the other guy did his voice. thing on top of it, really. It's, I'm in there. I can hear myself in there. Oh, so he's... He only hears himself. Okay. He's, like t he's like tuning it, I think. Yeah. What do you think, Matt? No, I think he sang that. Oh. I can't find... I know the one you're talking about. No, anyway, but that's... I wrote... That's based yeah. on my improv. Yeah, somebody did like your lyrics. Keep hearing a phone yeah, does somebody have their phone on? <laughs> Let's take another call. Yeah, um, make make sure you want to do a City of the Day real quick? Huh? Want to do a City of the Day? City of the Day? Sure. Get it out of the way. Get it out of the way. Get it out of the way. Matt, Chicago. the city of the day Just is. Get it out of the way. So we do these phony ads. You'll appreciate it. It's sort of like the Prairie Home Companion. <laughs> city of the day is. <laughs> Hot buttered biscuits. Sleep creeps, nighttime grooming experts. Are you a busy man who can't find the time to groom himself? 
does all the work, wife and whiskey simply take up all the precious hours of your life? Well, now you can easily get your grooming done with Sleep Creeps Nighttime Grooming Experts. That's right, you can get a haircut and a shave while you sleep. It's simple, just give us a call and leave a message on our answering machine. Tell us what services you need, and one of our creeps will arrive that night between 3 and 4 a.m. to groom you while you sleep. Be sure to leave 10 bucks and a spare key under your doormat. Teeth brushing and nail clipping services are also available. It's all the same price, but we get to keep the hair. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's dark, so... What? It's dark? I, I, I'm reading this for the first time. You understand. It's dark, so it won't be perfect, but our creeps know what hair and skin feel like. We're getting better at teeth. <laughs> Warning, do not wake up. Our creeps do not like that. Again, we keep the hair. Thank you. So leave us a voicemail today. <laughs> <laughs> that's their, that's their, um, their slogan is we keep the hair oh that's we what you're saying back there you know the model on the uh, after picture the, the what the sleep the creep, creep on the after do we have picture? a picture of the sleep creep yeah yeah he's in it's there on creepy. the after picture he looked the part where is it? I missed it I didn't get to see it yeah, I don't have yeah. the monitor it's kind of the best part can you bring that up yeah hold on a second. look at that is. guy there he, is. he looked I mean you couldn't have Come up with a better picture of a sleep Jesus. creep. He needs some of that hair. Yeah. I'll get you full screen though. You guys all have nice heads of hair. Anybody yes. in the band Thank you. bald? Yes. There you go. Here's a good no. close up. They don't come on don't these ask, programs. Don't ask, don't tell. Okay. <laughs> Nate, Nate Bailey, you are the city of the day, I'm my friend. I'm a friends. hairy guy. Sefe Fef Sefe High. Sefe Fef Sefe High. What are you, cool. uh, in accounts receivable there? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's office hours, right? Mm. I got to be in the office. Yeah. yeah. Wait, is that a real I'm, background or is that... Yeah, no, it's real. It's funny. It looks like it could be like a fake it's doctor. Is he a doctor? It's very real. I'm not a doctor. I work. I'm actually a tennis programmer. I work for a rec center and. Uh, Amazing. I, uh, tennis programmer. Let's, all let's, I, let's talk. Yes. Yeah, let's talk shop. Lucky. This is an absolute dream for me, Stephen. And I yeah. actually, I'm calling from Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. Oh yeah. yeah. Cool. I've been there. Uh, St Steven, I met you when you came here with the Jicks many, many years ago. When we played in Victoria. Yeah, you played at Lucky Bar, and yep. then you played at another place Twice a few did. years back. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh, so I saw on the you island? right after. Yeah, that's cool. Kind of British, beautiful place. Yeah, I know the island. Yeah, I just don't know, like, people play there. Like, that's kind of a hall yeah. to get out there on. you got to the... be kind of big. It's a bit yeah. of a hall. It's, get to see it's not, some not dolphins. Not so much anymore. It's, it's expensive to get here. But, yeah, I saw you right after you put out Real Emotional Trash. Mm -hmm. That was one of the best shows ever. Oh, Unbelievable. Thanks. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, tennis. I, I I asked a question a few months ago about who my, who your dream doubles partner would be. Tim replied Winston Churchill, which I found. I said that. Unbelievable. Yeah, you did. <clears throat> when did I said Winston Churchill? You did. I was like, who? If you could play doubles with anybody, who would it be? And without even hesitating, Tim, Winston Churchill. <laughs> George Washington. Well, I would be George him. Washington. I mean, like he'd be my partner. You think? He'd be your partner. Oh, order. Yeah, he'd be your partner. Okay. Anyways. Uh, Steven, I have such a creative mind that I don't even remember that. Uh, just, they, it comes so quick. The pounding. Yeah. It doesn't I don't stay know. around for very I'm long. a pretty big fan of a new player named Daniel Medvedev. I would just pick him. Oh, yeah. uh, Wasn't he the I just former like president him. of Russia? <laughs> there is a Medvedev that is a pr president, but he's not even related to him. Um, His backhand's not as good. How about yeah, that George kind of Bush? Did you hear what style. he said yesterday? Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, he's funny, too. Like He's a bit of a character on the yeah. court and seems kind of smart speaks perfect french that's important to me and anybody you speak french no german but no i speak <laughs> english <laughs> i speak english I mastered one language you speak a kind of english yeah um well yeah. tim tim do you want to do over on that question about your dream doubles partner sure i'd have to go yeah. to george carlin <laughs> good pick <laughs> He's good though. I don't think he has the slice to tug over there, has. <laughs> Imagine nice. George Carlin. I don't know. He'd be witty. He'd be witty. He'd be a fun guy to talk to. He'd be smoking. He'd be back. A lot of monologue. Back. I mean, whatever brings him back. Exactly. <laughs> well, yeah. Bob said it's all a mental game, and he would probably win the mental game. Yeah, exactly. It's true. Yeah. 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 I mean, can you imagine playing against Doug Carlin? You wouldn't be able to get the ball over. Yeah. You'd be laughing be... too hard. Yeah, exactly. Or just freaking out that Doug Carlin had come back to life. I mean. What a psych out. Yeah. Good pick, man. He'd be all, yeah. like, he'd be yeah. super old, though. Yeah. What about you? Who would you pick? Yeah, good question. Uh, you were my choice, Stephen, when yeah. I asked that question a while ago, and so this is all just coming <laughs> to fruition. I figured that's why I asked. 
He's put the yeah. time in, believe me. He's ready for you. I, I know. I'm I'm impressed. I remember well, seeing the, I think it was the inside of the Slanted and Enchanted album where you had yourself advertised as a tennis coach from Pasadena. Yeah. And, Is that uh, true? And, uh, yeah, that was in um, Mirror Traffic. Yeah, we, we found Mirror some. Mirror Traffic, uh, yeah, that's right. We found some advertisements of, uh, it was actually in a, um, there was a, fa a basketball match it was a cold war type thing with a russian team it was a just a exhibition game it took place here in the Colise in the uh wherever the lakers used to play in yeah, the forum in the forum and it had all this like ephemera advertisements for like sporting goods and stuff and there was a a bunch of uh pictures of these like people that would help you at the um sporting goods store and I just like adapted their names and put put our faces instead. Definitely like... moved the units. <laughs> Kalu, how are you Thanks doing, Kalu? Asking. You enjoying the show? I am. I'm really enjoying the view of my book next to Steve. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> about Thanks, this man. Oh no, don't move it. Oh okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, pick yes. a uh, Bob, <laughs> pick a pick a recipe that looks appealing uh, to let you. Let me put my you glasses on okay, here. Okay, you you get oh, to work boy. on that. I'm just gonna um, randomly oh here we go. No. Ooh, I like that because I've never. Oh yeah, no. I mean, everything's gonna look good to me in here. He's an eater. Just That's a great picture of Kalu with yeah. a oh. with a giant <laughs> lobster. <laughs> when cooking on vacation. Yeah. It's true. It's what I wear. Mm -hmm. Do you have any lobsters? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. More shrimp one? than you think. Pasta. Oh, extra. Remember, this book is called Easy Fancy Food, so obviously Kalu can cook complicated, but in this book for us novices, she does easy. That's a great angle, you right? Know, it That's draws great, people it's like, in. It's the like, angle. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, not it. that many people in this day and age are going to buy intimidating fancy food. <laughs> Keep it simple, you know? stupid. Yeah, exactly. Um, bring a large. You don't want to read no, this. No, no, yeah. no. Yeah, okay. Uh Beautiful picture. Anyways, there's <laughs> loads of great recipes in here. Oh my God! Can you come Here's on tour Kalu's with me? Here's Kalu's leg um, next to a plate of food. <laughs> um, you know what? That picture makes it, the food look very small. Yeah, yeah. This is like it's like model airplane food. Yeah, true. Yeah. It's a lifestyle <laughs> shot. We call it a lifestyle that shot. That looks really awesome. Yeah. The braised lamb shanks with gingery Meyer lemon relish. Now that. Mm. I you know what? There should them. be a food, What's a food for book. Dinner, lamb. I have a good idea for a food book. It's yeah. a perfectly to scale food plates. So when you're looking at the picture, yeah, it's, it's exactly there. what it looks like. Yeah. I can do this. Um, like I can do like. There's this Spinning? one weird guy. <laughs> where I live, there's a weird guy in my. I'm a oh, like a and, sign spinner. Yeah, yeah, do, yeah. Is that a thing that happens a, everywhere? Oh yeah, oh, yeah it's yeah, a big yeah. deal. Okay, because there's a dude on the town square in this strange little place I live called Paris, Tennessee, and he's whatever has got bad politics and he stands <laughs> there and he ate 10 hours a day flips the sign what does the sign uh, say he's going too let's fast. go brandon <laughs> John, <laughs> something like that i've seen one that does say that yeah yes. all right well let's take another zoomer thank him. you get back to work there scheduling programming tennis is that what's going on yeah yeah beautifully yeah thanks, thanks very mate. much yeah well, he'll, he'll see you are there, there courts just indoor courts just on the other side of you right now are you in the place um, no, there's, well, we do have four indoor courts, no outdoor courts, but yeah, they're just behind. Yeah. Least yeah. favorite pavement album? Uh, Terror. Okay. Terrible. Horrible. Do you have it's any parquet courts? In my language. <laughs> we got Terror and Slanted no kind of competing courts. for yeah. bottom. It's Thanks, the, mate. yeah, it's the stale bread in the middle is, are all the delicious meats and cheeses that we're going to talk about. <laughs> you need now. to listen to Cream of Gold more, that kicks butt. <laughs> Cream of Gold? Yeah. You ever yeah. heard that one? No. What's the Terror Twilight, right? Yeah. Oh, the song. We're not yeah. saying they're bad tracks. I'm telling you, I'm great. Wait till you hear my top, my number one. All right, next caller, Matt. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's do a hotline. <laughs> I can't wait. Just wait. Oh, well, you know what? I already have, We'll get yeah. to that. Okay. Next. Uh, Allison's been, uh, been waiting. A Allison long. Chains. Yeah. Allison. Hi, everyone. Yeah. Hi, Alice. Hi, Alice. Hi, Alice. Hi. Remember that show, um, Alice? The diner. Mm -hmm. This is Alice. Oh, Look at that. She's got a little bar over there, Wes. Alice Waters related yeah, to this. I got all yep. My, yeah. All my drinks over there. Was uh, Alice Waters canceled? I don't Hello? Think so. Are you a day drinker, Alice? She has a new restaurant. Uncancelable. Well, uh, not today. Hammer <laughs> Museum. Stand new by. Restaurant. We're going live to Kalu for the cancel report. 
is Alice has Alice Water has been canceled. No, she's uncancelable. Okay, who's the, who's the latest from the food world to have been canceled? Uh, there's a there's a lull right now. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I think we gotta, everyone's catching everyone's, breath. Everyone's uh, taking a pause. That was a it was a wild ride there for a bit. Okay. You can't have too much. You can have a little too much. Okay, Alice, please bring us <laughs> okay. back to yeah. to Earth. But, that's my name now, I guess. Um, well, it's great to. Wait, are you Alice? Alice Sun. Allison. I mean, oh, Allison. I don't know. I wanted to, somebody should have cried. Allison. Well, then you said Allison Chase, so then you went to Alice. This world is key. Yeah. You. Oh, yeah, I love that song. You could yeah, cover that. I wasn't made oh, Allison. But I've had it come to me. My end is true. I like the. I think he's lost. Song Excuse me. Let her. Okay. Sorry, Tim. Go fire away, Allison. I'm I had my second cup. That's right the problem. Oh my God. Um, well, I'm. I just want to say I'm the biggest Pavement and Stephen Malcolm's fan ever, and I can corroborate that. But I'm not going to because I promised Matt I would keep my cool. But uh, I saw you play with Trad Tech. Um, what? Trad Tech. Sorry, nothing. Yeah. He just played Trad a little bit of Elvis sorry. Costello. Yeah, that's, that's what about Steve West? Okay. Does he chop liver to you? Did you see us in Portland or in uh, the Wilco thing? No. Uh, at Alberta Albi in Portland. Yeah, cool. Yeah. How was you braid the... Um, just walk out. Some people were <laughs> scared of Sister Omicron, but you were like, no, I'm going to yeah, see my band no. that I like. Yeah. yeah that was, thanks. Um, my guitar was a little effed up, but the other guys did a great job. In yeah, my I was... my humble opinion. Yeah, it was a cool venue, too. And no, no Steve West is not chopped liver to me. Hi, Steve. I'm uh, also no way, a big it? fan of yours. Oh, yeah. And you, Bob. Thank you very much, Alice. I didn't realize you were a corgi dad. I yes. do, yeah. Let me find you a picture of my corgi. You keep talking. <laughs> he, he's we'll pretty pause. amazing. No, no, no. You Watch what happens to the show, by the way, when I get shit from everybody for oh, talking too much. Watch when I just step back. We'll see. Let's see how the show grinds down to a halt. Yeah. Well. No, well, no, 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 no. looks for pictures a... on his phone. No, 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 you guys keep talking. This I will think, take a second. Allison, didn't you say you had a joke? Didn't you have a joke yeah. for us? Well, okay, I did have a joke because a couple weeks ago, one of the uh, one of the City of the Day sponsors was like a pun on some musician's name. I can't yeah. remember who Dong, it was. Dong McLean. Uh, Dong McLean. Yeah. The yeah. McDonald's so, character. American a couple weeks pie. ago... <laughs> Yeah, I came up with an idea for a pun on Stephen's name, but it was called the Stephen Malcolmus Milk Mist, and you were gonna, it was like a milk that you could mist instead of like Oh feeding. yeah. Stephen Malcolmus Milk Mist? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's pretty good. so instead like of like drinking milk, you can just spray it and like. Yeah, yeah. that's a good idea. So, Marketing. Merch. No, it's it's a terrible milk, idea. Milk no, it's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Like By payment standards, it's a great idea, Allison. Yeah. Okay, it, cool. It, Congratulations, Allison. You've made us all yeah. smile. Thank you very much. That's what I'm here for, I guess. You're what awesome. Least favorite yeah. pavement album? Quickly. Um, I'm very uncomfortable by this question because, yeah. Um, We're not uh, that sensitive. Okay, fine. Um, Terror Twilight. Wow. But oh, wow. I'd really like to see. The Beatles wow. had yeah. Abbey Road. They went out with Dude, their best. The You're Lux going new out. Edition? <laughs> well, my favorite is Slanted, so uh, I yeah. was, it was getting a little heated in the chat. Yeah, right. I bet. And that's why I'm an argument starter, because yeah. I need the, uh, the, 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 the conflict to get people all well, riled up. Um, well, Allison, thank you so much Thanks, for, for your support of the band and of my uh, broadcast here. Are we going to see you? On you coming out? Or? This summer, uh, three times, yes. Fantastic. Wow. Yeah. What about me? Thank you. Do you know uh, I'm name? seeing you maybe twice because you're playing in Portland. Two shows. Two, twice in a row. Yeah. So. Awesome. The Aladdin Theater. Cool. Yeah. Two, night, two shows, one night. Oh, you're in Portland? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Thanks, Alice. Find right tickets on. at timheidecker.com slash live. Thanks, You'll also get a little hyperlink to the <laughs> You forgot thanks, the big Alice. announcement. Yeah, thanks. Well done. Do you have a big announcement? Yeah, thanks, Alice. I have a big announcement. Didn't, didn't the show get added this morning? Oh, yes. We have an, an, we have an, adi we have an added, another added, a fourth show. Listen, uh, this How is unprecedented. This possible? <laughs> unprecedented fourth show. In which town? New York. Mm. Bell Hill. Fifth, the the Bell fifth show. Too. Fifth show. There he is. Mr. Ghost. And here's the corgi. That's Mr. Ghost. My best yeah. friend. That's my son. 
He's so does he cool. do that corgi neck crane that I was doing when oh, yeah, he does them all? I like that. Stretching move. tins, roll. Oh, guess what? Portland so Oh wait, that's he's the king. I mean, Kim he's an Heidecker. amazing little beast. He is. I love New him York so. Kim Heidecker. All right, let's take a hotline call, Matt. Yeah, Ooh, let's get our to that. Hotline. This hotline. Is, now, this these, are these are unhinged. The unhinged people. Yeah, this will be some. Oh yeah. Some pavement loon. <laughs> John. You are live on hotline the air. Hotline, John, John, John Lennon. Lennon. Ooh, look at that. I'm John Lennon. <laughs> Mr. Hotline John Lennon. Hotline now, Matt. Hello, yeah, it's me, John, John Lennon. John Lennon. How's it going? Hi, John. It's going great, John. Hey, this is a big honor for me, longtime pavement fan. Thanks, John. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Oh, yeah. Control yeah. yourself, you spurt. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, I'll just cut right to it. I have a question about... Um, how the wedding present covered box elder yeah so early yeah. in your career because that kind yeah. of blew my mind uh Us you guys too. were pretty new and and they were kind of new so yeah yeah right help. so this happened uh back in like 1991 when um i think uh somehow john peel maybe got um hold of pavement records you know how he was he's the famous dj mm -hmm. rest in peace who uh championed underground music and pretty much like very influential like guy he was play somehow he found our music as he does and maybe the wedding present heard it there or maybe it hadn't been played yet and they played it and he got he was also tight with that band i, I see it as something like that yeah so it was a b-side to one of their singles it kind yeah. of blew our mind because we were really um just getting started then and it helped us out definitely in the british isles how uh, am yeah. I an idiot for not knowing who the wedding present is? Not really. If you're British, you would know. Okay. Or if you're just were really into like landfill indie at um, right. 1991. I love their the Tim present. Heidecker is a guy named David Gedge. Big like um, 80s, 90s um, pop band. Okay. Good. Yeah, you'd like more him. famous in Britain. Maybe not even any releases in America like really? official at that time. Yeah. Like only Empire I over so there in the British Isles, huh? Yeah, it was great. Did you like them, John? The wedding present? Well, yeah, I was lucky because my older sister was into the wedding present and I was into pavement. And then it kind of became a question of like, who actually wrote this song? You know, what did you cover them or did they cover? Oh, you know, so. that's a good question. Yeah, I would have thought cool. that too. I didn't really Where know are who you, they John? were. <clears throat> I'm in DC. Okay, cool. I heard the wedding present version first, actually. Awesome, thank oh, you. Oh, so you're hip to this? Oh, yeah, Bizarro. She mm -hmm. Very good yeah. record. I was He's just, a DJ, he knows everything. <laughs> I'm listening to, back then, I'm listening to Toad the Wet Sprocket. That's Me all too. I got. I was like I'm that, like, too. Yeah. I like that, too. <laughs> Gin Blossoms. <laughs> yeah. All right, thanks, we'll John. Check out the new 7-inch from Gin Blossoms and the uh, Black Crows. Better than Ezra, <laughs> maybe. You yeah, like better than Ezra. Have a good one, buddy. You were in the buzz bin. You were hanging out in the buzz bin. <laughs> <laughs> the buzz bin. <laughs> Those who don't know, that was an MTV uh, yeah. Yeah. like specialty <laughs> thing they would play at after hours or something. What were your uh, What were your thoughts on R.E.M.? Oh, one of I really liked uh, the first three. I mean, I'm like the first three yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah. But I did like automatic for the people sure. too. Sure, I think was, that like, stuff really is good. great. I think all like up until maybe that record or Mon, I don't know. Like I kind of dropped off at Monster. Same, more but or less. I just listened to to Michael Stipe on uh, that Rick Rubin podcast, and I was yeah. just like, I was so fond of. It was so great to hear him, and just he's he was like very openly pretentious. He made like a yeah. joke about it. He was like, I'm I'm a pretentious guy. Like I'm a full he's on honest. art guy. Yeah, like <laughs> we met him. <laughs> I was Steve and say, I met him together in Lexington at Rupp Arena. He was playing a concert there, and Lance Bangs, who did our DVD, he yeah. did all. He was good friends with Michael. I think he was sitting in a big giant uh, locker room for. He was naked, and he said, "Like, do you know what today is? It's Arthur Rambo's birthday." Of course, so, like <laughs> classic, it wasn't it? We Rambo? walked into the room, and he was, was walking. It was a bad time to catch him because he was walking out of the shower, and he quickly covered himself in a towel. And then it was an awkward conversation, which Stephen and him compared body scars, and I like uh, first meeting. Yes, I was yeah. scar free, and those guys were talking about their scars. What kind of scars you got? Mm. Not good. 
pretty bad, like humiliating ones as a oh, child. Yeah. I got some big. Uh, we'll talk about it with Stipe in the locker room, but not, but on, not your on show. The air. Not on the yeah. Air. I've got good. I've got good scars from life, from adult adulthood. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. Stabbed yeah. in the back. No joke. Ooh. Yeah. And I have a broken wrist scar here. Whoa. Yeah. Man, that's intense. I'm a real guy. I'm a guy's guy. Yeah. <laughs> You're the only kind of guy you'd get in the Car accidents or kitchen accidents? What, this? Yeah. Roller skating. Ooh. <laughs> so I'm a guy's guy. How about the knife yeah. in the back? Was that... Was, was that um, it was fucking this guy. <laughs> really? Was he came that up right behind me. No, no. It was... <laughs> Bad show. It was here oh. in this room, too. Yeah. His wife. It was a crazy... Did you kill was... the guy that knifed you in the back? Of course. Okay. You are a guy's guy, though. <laughs> Hey, we got I'm, a super I, chat. I am serious about it. People can look it up, but I, I didn't kill the guy. No. Life's tough, We got man. a super chat question. Someone paid $20 to ask you this question, wow. so let's let's do him the honor. Ooh, 20 bucks. Entertainer! What does the group pavement eat while on the road touring Good between question. shows? <laughs> um, um, Good <laughs> uh, We have, like, uh, one of our members uh, is a whiz of um, the internet and food. Uh, he, he, he finds where to... He's a foodie. He knows where to go. Let me just say it. He's yeah. a foodie. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. dying right to the foodie. Like, Brilliant foodie. He used to write for Lucky Peach. Like, um, and he is so good at it. It's, it's just nice to hand over the reins. Yeah. Somebody who knows what they're doing. If you like everything, which we do. Right. You know what's um, not so bad? A fried egg sandwich. That's generally like the way. Food. If he's not around, I do the same thing, but at a lesser version. Because he's yeah. not in my solo career. I do the same thing, but not as well. So he looks at the routing and he says, okay, we're going to be in St. Louis. Here's where we got to go. Or here's right. where we got to have Research. seven. Yes. He has Pre since 1991. He's done that. Yeah. Pre-internet was interesting. Everything was different back then, of course. Bob had this thing called Eat Your Way Across the USA. Road food, which was, Jane uh, Michael Stern. They were kind of touristy, funny places. Some were really good, too. Right. Bob, well, you don't want to get food yeah. poisoning. No. <laughs> I got. I lost 28 pounds in 12 France. days, and I almost died. And I ate undercooked turkey cutlet in Nancy, France. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. And I was and I was starving, and my bandmates were like two or three seats to the right, and they cut. They're like, "Oh my god, it's not cooked." Mine was already nobody inside. told. Oh no! Don't tell was, Bob. I mean, I actually look kind of cool, but yeah, a lot of people were concerned that I had a drug habit, but I just had really bad salmonella. How are you doing? They're, so they're just like searching for yes. vomit. Yeah. Sound <laughs> Thank, I, thanks, your Why don't you find your fucking? Where's your turkey sound end. effects? Hello, it's Where do Mr. you guys Mast. order out from here? Like, what happens? Is lunchtime's coming soon? It Dude, must be the fun I'm part of the panic. day. I'm starting to panic about lunch, by the way. Because I have no, I have something, I have stuff all day. Yeah. I have nothing, I have, like, right as soon, as soon as we wrap, I'm saying, bye, good to see you yeah. guys. I'll see you on, you know. Boom. And then it's you get back to work. Next. Order something during the show. You've I never want to. You've never sure done this now. before. Why doesn't somebody take Please care of me? Well, look, we got five Kalu other people who can, can run talk. up your Kalu. kitchen. Kalu. Kalu can make Kalu you Kalu something. Yeah, she she's can. like, well, I mean, apparently she's kind of a big deal. I forgot. There's so much going on, I forgot. Kalu. Still here waiting. Can you figure out lunch? I'm trying my best, Kalu. I know, I'm Bob. I love you. I love you more. <laughs> but but yeah. can't you just go on, uh, uh, what do you call it, Uber Eats? No, no. I'm not, no. No? Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Should we bring Kalu in? I thought that was rigatoni, but it's Pachiri. Hey, I thought of a cool Bacari. idea. Bacari. 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 Thank you, Kalu. Thank you, Doug Bob. has a cool idea. Cool Where are the idea. sirens? <laughs> I have a good business idea. Instead of Uber Eats, there's a service where you call someone and you tell them what recipe to make, and then they bring it over. It's home, home cooked meal. Home cooked Postmates. Yeah, there's a lot Whoa, of, no, this there's is a lot a of good code, code issues with that. No, yeah. you could say, turn to page 24 on Kalu's book. Oh, that's Tim's favorite. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, can yeah, I talk? Well, idea. I want to talk Wait, about that. Jim? I'll do it in person if I ever get on the show. You know? Yeah. We're, we'll, right. we're, we're you want to come in now? And, and yeah. The, I guess. I mean, you want to swap yeah. out? Yeah. Steve, do you mind swapping out for a minute? Not a problem. She could take my spot, too. I have to go to the potty. Steve can bump to the to the Doug side saddle spot. You go to the potty. Yeah. But... I'll Look, and I want back, you to though. come back for your I'll main spot. Yeah. I'll let her know where she's been. Wait, 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 you're tied in. You're tied in. Yeah. We're okay. giving Wes a heart attack. Now. This is exactly what he didn't want. <laughs> well, Wes is just going to have to adapt. <laughs> yeah. um, you want to chat with a Zoomer while fans. we do this changeover? That's how Look at that. Done. <laughs> the world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It looks better than it felt. Who's there, Matt? Ramona. Ramona Muse Lambert. Oh, I know Ramona. She's one of my best friends. Ramona. Hi, hey, Ramona, I miss you. 
Ramona, she's the lead singer of Ramona in the sometimes. Oh, we've talked to Ramona before too. She's brilliant. Oh, yeah. Look at her. She's like one. Of, she lives a hundred yards away from me. Oh, oh. She's what? Well, yeah, she's she's um, apparently she's pregnant with her third child. Holy moly! Wow. <laughs> I love her. She's one of the coolest people in the okay. world. Okay. Oh well, I was gonna. Can I tell a story about Bob real quick? Yeah, yeah. One time we threw a show that was like, uh, t- it was an all ages show. So there's all these like 14 and 15 year olds there. And Bob DJed, and he spent the whole show in the creepiest poodle mask. It was and I think creepy. It really changed some lives. Yeah, yeah I creepy scared a Bob. lot of children and their Jesus. mothers. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah there were yeah, a lot yeah. of parents there, like, "Who is that?" It's like, "Oh, it's Bob." Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey. I went too far. I'm sorry, Ramona. Are you feeling good that Mr. Ghost got on? Yeah, I was oh, yeah. really feeling good about that. Did he look good? He looks so good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you miss him in the son. hood, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right, well, why well, don't you guys take this off? Y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Did you wear the mask because you didn't want this? I'll FaceTime you later, Ramona. Thanks, Ramona. Okay. We love yeah, you, miss too. you. Thanks, Bye, Ramona. Everybody. Congratulations. She's got a new album, Ramona and the hey, Sometimes. Thank you. Ramo- Ramona yeah. and the Sometimes. Uh, we can find that anywhere we find music? Just Google it. Okay. How about um, gig tapes in Detroit? We, got a, we love talking to couples on this show. I mean... Hello. 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 Can you hear us? Can you, can you hear clear. us? I'm clear. Oh, so cool. Crazy. Love the uh, depth perspective here. Nice. Yeah, I like this. Kind of emulating our like hey, So Kane we're yeah. long, long time <laughs> office hours uh, fans, first time Zoomers. All right. Oh. Well, how can we help you today? I just wanted to say I've got some tickets to see Pavement in Cleveland or in Detroit Hello. and Tim in Cleveland this summer. Wonderful. I'll be Going there up. as well. Nice. Well, I, have, <laughs> I want to make an official apology. I was talking to the guys about this before the show. Official apology uh, about where can Steve sit now? He see? can, see, so he can he sit in my spot. Yeah, go ahead. He can sit in my spot. I'll stand behind him. That's a good, I like that. That's sort of like an emulation we'll the of the same, live show. Yeah, we'll get the same depth perspective you get a nice of that yeah, as them. I apologize to the Can people of Michigan to, in Detroit. Yeah, so uh, I, we tried to make it work. We couldn't find, the venue was not conducive to the scheduling and the routing and the whole deal. Where are you going? I was looking, oh, look, he's well, sitting on your book. On, on behalf of Michigan, <laughs> uh, we forgive you <laughs> as representatives of Michigan. You. Steve, you just to catch know. you up. Can we bring that stool? Oh, actually, let's move that stool. Yeah, there you go. Uh, just to catch you up, Steve, right. what you missed. Uh, I saw these... a lot in there. I saw, like, okay. multiple images. About that, There's That's a lot good. more going on That's than good. we know That's about. Good. There, These these cats They're are going awesome. to see you guys in Detroit. That's fantastic. He's oh, off yeah. mic. Uh, I think Steve, oh, okay. uh, good, Steven yeah. needs to get on mic now. We're always, for some reason, That's good. really cool. We want I you on the SM58. Obviously, we'll have to visit Detroit. Um, it's an amazing place, so... You guys are playing the Masonic. Jack oh, White. that Masonic! You, you know what? Have you played this Masonic uh, hall Just in Detroit yet? Andrews. Probably not, because it's no, kind of a I new. I played at the Magic Stick, of course. <laughs> Magic it's haunted. Stick, Magic Stick. And so, I played yeah. at the, oh yeah, we yeah, saw you place. with the Jicks at the at the Saint Magic Andrews Stick back in the day. So guys, let me just we say, I know the there's, I know there's going to be venues where you just keep your head down, do the show, get the yes. fuck out. At the Masonic in Detroit, mm-hmm. please do a tour of the of this of the hall. Yes. It's okay. one of these yes. massive mas- Masonic um, temples temples that they didn't finish building. Oh wow! Super wow. spooky. It's Super the most spooky. haunted, weirdest place. There is yeah. on like the twentieth floor is a half built, not finished pool. Oh, wow! That. It's just, and there's just Masons all these weird trippy. Masonic rooms and secret, you know, stuff freaks me out. My grandpa was a L.A. Mason. Really? Mine yeah, wasn't. in like 1910. There's weird. St- we don't know. He was a man of few words. Yeah, what's your story? Um, he's a Mason over here, right? <laughs> what's that, Steve? Stone Mason. Yeah. Stone Mason. That's yeah. different. Yeah. Than a, uh, yeah, it's a little more. Brutal, yeah. Like, I think. Yeah. So, down to earth. What do we know about you? What are you, what's your background? Yeah, background. Evidently, I Mob heard in my background. Wikipedia that I um, got drunk and walked across some... Uh, how do you change your Wipi- Wikipedia? You just go so in there and change it. Problem. You just, you just go in there and change yeah. it. I think you have to be registered, no though. No one bothered to change... For I know some reason, sign that's up. You can just important. sign up and edit. Yeah. More, most important things I ever did was get like arrested and a senior for walking across some roofs. Just email me. Everybody chill out. 
A lot of crosstalk. This is like, what is this, a Robert Sorry. Altman movie? <laughs> and Steve, do we have Steve's ears still? That's, Can we get Steve's that's ears not back the, uh, in? That's not the thing to have in the controversy section. Lindsay Garrison. You There's can't nine <laughs> people talk. Do we have nine people? Uh, here? I, I want to take a minute here. Is there, is there a Jan Terry people. headshot in the back there? Sorry, I just want to see it. I, yes, it no, is. you don't Jan see those Terry. Yes, it is. Beautiful. So Jan what Terry. Do you know Jan it's Terry? It's signed. Oh, um, it's autographed. No. Autograph That's amazing. Too. You know Jan <laughs> Terry, right? Of Doug? course. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's beautiful. Tonight. I don't want to lose you tonight. That is a great line. Can we bring up Jan Terry? If the new generation doesn't know Jan Terry, bring her on. You gotta bring Jan Terry on the show. Is she still alive? She's in LA. Yeah, she she's, still, she's, she's still around. Yeah, she's selling headshots and stuff like. Bring that. her in like right that. now. But yeah, right, go get her. No, she's. She, she left. She left a birthday voicemail oh for Andrew one time. It was pretty. Sweet. Is she on cameo? Maybe. That's where she should be. Uh, something yes. like with yeah. Desi. Yeah. Like dark her Desi. Own we have Big Burger. Cameo. <laughs> <laughs> got a burger. Well, oh, there wow. she is. Wow. Respect. That's like that's, that's modern recent day, stuff. but we want to see like Look. early '90s stuff. She was. Yeah. We were very inspired by that video, of course, and that's <laughs> oh, where that yeah. come we over have, video comes from. We have a couple things from, right? to show yeah, totally. you guys. Might be, yeah, could be. Oh yeah, let's see, let's see it. How do they freeze themselves like that? <laughs> what you got? That's called bad internet. Uh oh. Wait, wait. All right. Oh, they, nice? What are you gonna show us? Oh, what? there we go. Oh, What's we've that? got a. We've got the, some VHS tapes That's, here. Don Wall directed that, right? Or, or he uh, produced it, I believe. It's, uh, it's unopened. We actually okay. found this one at a thrift store. So that one's for Vic. There we go. I yeah. love it. I have this funny um, memory of that's when... A, that's a good one. When Brian Wilson... Uh, came back out with smile he did that like you know the reunion of it or whatever like the re they, they did it as a concert yeah and they did this there's a live uh film of it and at the end they brought out uh van dyke parks to do a a bow yeah. but van dyke is so short and brian wilson so tall <laughs> that brian wilson had to just go he had to do this squat <laughs> instead of a bow is the, the weirdest bow i've ever seen he, Vic, he just lovely. had good social graces enough to notice he was with a small guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, yeah was, it, was it was a sweet moment. I do that sometimes Woo! in photos with fans. Like, I go down this way in a triangle <laughs> pose. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's better than the lean down. Moves the honest. units. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, can I've I talk about... All. I want to talk about the eggplant parm in Kalu's book. Oh, yeah. Uh, we are at the one-hour one mark. It's a healthier which, eggplant parm. It's not healthy. No. At all. No. Oh. <laughs> healthy by my standards. Um, let me say, but Matt, should we take a break or should we just blast on through today? Well, let's take a, to have a little eggplant chat and then a break, yeah? Because we have a couple minutes still. We started a couple Well, this is going to be a 30 minute story. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I thought I could pad things until the break and then do the. Oh, eggplant. okay, sure. We could take a break then. Um, we need to give them a little, a minute to. Reset the yeah. You gotta admit, this this friend of ours looks like Vic. Oh, what? Okay, okay we have breaking news. <laughs> Somebody looks like Vic. Somebody we have holding a them looks like Vic. Doppelganger yeah. alert coming yeah. in. So it's probably gonna be very Not flattering to Vic. It's gonna be very flattering to Vic. He's thing. a great guitar <laughs> player. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that's good. That's good. <laughs> All right, folks. Matt's a stickler for he's mis, he's fucking Swiss clock back there. No, no, I just right we just need to take a break at some point to get the guys. No, what we'll do is we'll take a fiver uh, and Shopping come God. back in five with everybody in the room. Clue with the farm. Are you, are you, are you okay? You okay? went to the bathroom. You okay? Yeah, I okay. thought that black toilet paper was very uh, erotic. Or well, <laughs> kinky. Kinky, I would say more. Kinky. There was something... Yeah, kinky. kinky. Yeah, yeah, I thought you said was, kinky. There was something... Uh, it's, I'll, I'll tell you paper. about the black toilet paper <laughs> when we come back from this break. We're going to hear yeah. about the eggplant parm. And we're going to talk about your. We're going to get to the top of our favorite pavement pavement album. What's their least favorite? Oh yeah, what's your least favorite pavement album? Oh, did they mute? Here you go. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, least favorite pavement album. I'd have to say uh, Crooked Brain, just because of the of the sound Ba-boom. of the production. Same, same, I love a lot same, of the same. Song. Wow. Huh. I don't, right. it's just, uh, it's a little noisy sounding for me, but oh, I love gee, you and I are the same. same. What, do you, what do you want, Seals and Croft? What do you want, the Doobie Brothers? How about noise yeah, is cool? How about it, uh, noise is exciting? Get, redo it. Redo yeah, it. Have right. Brian Eno or, or someone yeah. do it. Yeah. <laughs> like a note for note reproduction of Crooked Rain? I agree. That's, that yeah. could be a move. All right, everybody, we'll be back in five. Here's, here's the 
uh, first song from Crooked Written. No, we don't want to do that because we'll get binged. Can we'll I get play binged. Box Elder by Wedding Present? No. There you go. I don't yeah, want to get binged. Do it. Yeah. No, we'll get. It's fine. Do it. Really? Okay, I gotta find it. Hold DJs on. DJs are always thinking. <laughs> I'll just play some chill. <laughs> 